Um, yesterday I did something which I I really didn't want to do, uh, but um, I did it anyway. I went and ordered the DJI Mavic Pro Fly More Pack, uh, the one with extra propellers, extra batteries, extra charging dock, and all that kind of stuff. Um, it came. I bought it off Amazon. It was around about one thousand five. It was under one thousand five hundred. Um, and let me just explain to you why I didn't want to do it, but why I did it in the end. Um, I, the thing is, okay, I've been flying drones, I've even got a whole channel devoted to drone flying, but I hate it. <laughs> uh, some of you be like, oh what, it must be amazing, it must be great fun having a drone. I'm like, when it's your £1,500 worth of kit buzzing up in the sky, it's not fun. Yeah, to put it into perspective of why it's horrible is, imagine you've got you've gone out and bought yourself a really expensive camera, not this one, this one's fairly cheap, um, that costs one and a half thousand pounds, and to use it, you have to throw it up in the air, juggle it all the time, okay? And that's the only way you're gonna get a good photo, is by throwing it really high up in the air. But not only that, is that you're throwing it up in the air, like right up into the sky every time you use it, and uh, and birds want to attack it, and and sometimes the wind wants to throw it into a tree, um, and sometimes something happens when it's up in the air, and your hands stop working, and you can't catch it, and it crashes straight to the ground. That's what it's like owning a drone, especially a one thousand five hundred pound drone. So if you if you're happy with a little camera, and you have to just lob it up in the air every time you want to use it and you have no fears or worries about that, then yeah, you go get yourself a drone. <laughs> but if you are somebody who one and a half thousand pounds worth of gear is a substantial investment, and if you have uh, investigated or, or at least just YouTubed DJI Mavic drone crash or fault or fail or DJI Mavic Pro problem, um, or or any of those kind of things, and you've seen the amount of times where it's either kind of gone wonky, started doing big curves, then crashed into a tree, or where you've seen uh, birds attack them, or not, not just the Mavic Pro, but just this is kind of any drone in um, uh, out there, and uh, or when the battery has had a mic a minis minuscule, uh, a very short time. What do you call that? Micro, not microscopic, minute. A very short time where the batteries had a tiny little fault and suddenly crashes down to the ground. Um, where you have people that um, naturally just don't like them and you're, if you're having to actually use one, and let's say you're in a place where somebody then walks up to you, then you've got to answer the whole questions of, what is that? Is that a drone? How much does it cost? How fast does it go? How high does it go? You're like, I'm really focusing and concentrating on flying this drone here so I don't kill a bird or a tree or myself or somebody below me. Um, obviously, you should be following all the rules and regulations regarding not flying over people, over crowded areas, over congested areas, uh, near build within 50 metres of buildings, all that kind of stuff. But that doesn't take away the fear of having something which can go wrong at any point, not, and even not from your own fault. So it's not like, and it's not like if I had a camera and it goes, oh, oh, it's not working. Oh, well, I'll close it up, put it in the bag, take it home. It's like, if that suddenly goes up there and stops working, it can then go ping off into a direction. It can go <clears throat> crash into the ground. Even flying it normally and it coming down the way, it can get into its, um, vortex death, vortex death spiral, where it gets caught in its own wind, just as you're bringing it down, and it can then go into effectively a vacuum suction that it creates of itself, and then it plummets to the ground. Uh, there's so, and, and, and you're weather dependent and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, it's it's not an enjoyable thing. If, if it was something which cost a hundred pounds, and it's a case of, ah, throw it up there, we get amazing shots, if it crashes, doesn't really matter, fine. It's fine, but when it's one and a half grand, if one and a half grand isn't an expense to you, if that's just something like, oh yeah, I'll just, what's that? Yeah, but was, uh, here's here's my 500 pound lunch, here's my 300 pound bottle of wine, and uh, oh, get a drone as well. Then yeah, you go get yourself some drones, no problem, you, you have fun with that. But if it's your own stuff, and you've seen the amount of fails that it does, yeah, it's it's not, 
it's not fun. It's not fun or enjoyable. Um, additionally, the next thing, so the question is, why did I go for that one? Because at the same time, I could have gone for the D DJI Mavic, and uh, no, DJI Phantom 4 Pro, because that's the latest one. Um, that one was going for about 1,800. Ugh. And then with it, when you get the little monitor on top, it's coming up to about two grand. So again, that's two grand's worth of equipment that can go wrong, can fault, can have problems, which I was just like, I cannot be bought. It's bigger, it's white, it, you need a proper rucksack. The Mavic Pro, I'm thinking, at least I can shove that into like my either my camera bag um, and it'd be so much easier transporting. It's small, it's black, it's discreet. It's so much more quiet as well, so you're not going to be attracting attention of people kind of going, what's that? And then you have all the people doing the stupid faces towards the camera. Like, that's, that's not helpful. Um, so the DJI Phantom 4 Pro looks amazing, fantastic abilities, but really obvious, really big in comparison, um, uh, but better landing ability and better camera. Uh, and better video options. So that was like, oh, I'm really, really torn between better optics, better landing ability, or really small and convenient and discreet. Uh, and cheaper. So, uh, <laughs> and then 4K was actually really good quality. So I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll go for the, for the small one. So small, light, discreet, 4K is good enough. Uh, but, uh, no, so, so, but the 1080 is a bit gash. 4K is good enough. Um, and uh, and that's one I decided decided to go for. Uh, you can get it for cheaper, but then you you've really got to get a couple of batteries with it. So the one I went for gives me extra propellers, a charging dock, additional batteries, and a little carry case kind of thing as well. So that came up to one thousand four hundred and fifty. I'll put the link to that down below. A slight problem is it's going to be delayed. I'm I'm ordering this on December the first, February the the they're they're saying roughly February the tenth before it comes out. So that's like good over two months away. <laughs> You're like, wow, okay, so which is good, but the problem is Amazon takes the money out of your account when they send it off for delivery. So I've got to remember in February to make sure that that one and a half grand, which I've budgeted for now, is still in the account. I'm gonna have to like put it into a, a PayPal account somewhere just to keep it out of my hands, but it comes out of my normal bank account. So that's something which you need to pay attention to um, when doing that um, but otherwise hopefully it's going to be cool enough hopefully it's going to be safe enough hopefully also in that time there may be more firmware updates software updates and, um, and maybe uh, the, the annoying thing is there's probably going to be more videos of them crashing falling failing problems um, but hopefully lots of other users will be experiencing that and DJI will be setting out updates and all that kind of stuff. I think what I'll also do is always fly it with a little um, protection cup over the, the camera because see if it does fall or crash into a tree, if you've got a little protection cup over the camera, that's going to save you a lot of hassle. I think if you don't have that and that just gets twisted and bent or something um, just from hitting a twig or a tree or a harsh landing on some ground, I think it'd be better to always have a little um, protection cup um, on that. But yeah. So many people think drones are great fun, but when when you're actually using them and you know of the the dangers and the problems with them and you know all the safety protocols protocols um, that you have to go through before every flight and after every flight and during every flight, it's it's and also the additional software updates, the firmware updates um, that are pumped out. Because I had the DJI Phantom 2 and I used that for about two years. And then try to update it. It's it's out of date. It's the DJI Phantom 2 went from the 2 to the Vision to the Vision Plus or the 2 Vision Plus, then the 3, the 3 Professional, the 4, the 4 Professional. So we're up to what's that? Seven generations uh, in the future going on there. So um, yeah, they didn't have the parts because when, when the last time I had it, it just died. They didn't have the parts. They couldn't diagnose the actual fault with it. It was clearly... And also the thing is, is, is metal bits inside. And it's in weather conditions. So it's like bits corrode. That's the worst thing. You can have everything working absolutely fine. You fly it up and the one tiny connection from the battery after several years just gets a little bit corroded away. And it just goes... Bloop, and then all of a sudden that's, that's it falling out the sky. So case of... Don't keep your drone for very long. If you're spending one and a half grand, think about it for, that's gonna be like maybe one year's worth of use. 
Um, if you're using it for longer than that, make sure you're getting it inspected and people actually doing a break, like a teardown of it and then checking all the wires and cables for any sort of uh, corrosion going on there. Especially if you're anyone that flies near the beach or near the sea. <laughs> Salty, moist air. What a disaster um, for these things. Uh, so yeah, that's why a lot of them fall out the sky. And it, so it could be a case it's not a fault of the manufacturer, it's not a fault of the software, it's not a fault of the pilot, it's not a fault of a bird attacking it. It's just that after a while, stuff corrode. Connections get loose. Cables move around. And you, what you don't want is that ever happening over a road uh, or over public, people on the street, people walking around, the, walking their dog, and it then plummeting to the ground and crashing into a car, uh, crashing just in front of a car, the car swerving, killing a person at the side of the road. You've got to have worst case scenario thoughts in your head every time you're flying so that you fly as safely as possible. And again, so that was the other reason why if, if anything went wrong with the Mavic, it's, I think, in total, it's only about 750 grams compared to the DJI Phantom 4 Plus, which is uh, one and a half kilograms. So it's over double the weight. And double the weight fallen from the same height becomes quadruple the amount of energy hitting the ground. So yeah, the Mavic, much smaller, much lighter, potential of much less damage or problems going on there. And, and it also means the smaller it is, the more likely if it goes into a tree, the easier it's going to fall out of the tree. Because if you have something big in the tree, it's much more, it's going to be held up by more branches and twigs and be uh, difficult to get out of the tree. So yeah, smaller, the better. However, the smaller, the more shaky it is and possibly the more vibration going on in the camera. So that uh, is a real weighing up option, but the price, the size, the discreetness, the volume um, was the deciding factor for, for me to get the DJI Phantom, uh, DJI Mavic Pro. The only bummer is it's two two months away, um, and uh, yeah, two months away, and it's still still a scary proposition to go fly, and it's 1080 sucks. Anyway, right there you go. That's what I bought recently. That's why I bought it. Hope that helps. Bye bye.